Yo, what's up everyone, welcome back. This video, what are we gonna be talking about? You guessed it, we're gonna be talking about arrays. So we're gonna basically be just going through some examples of how to create them, how to work with them, and so forth. But first you gotta check out our sponsor. Monday.com is your visual project management solution. This is the tool that allows you to see where every task or project stands with a single glance. With a fully customizable interface, you can create the exact workflow that you need for you and your team to get stuff done. Monday.com is available on mobile and integrates well with some of the most popular tools out there. So get your life in order by giving it a try for free. Link in the description. All right, creating an array is super easy. All you gotta do is you just say what stuff you wanna store, such as integers, and you put a square bracket after it. So this is how you say an integer array. And then you give it some name. So for example, we can give it grades. And then what we do is we assign it, well actually start here. So this is an array declaration. But this is the equivalent of saying int x. We're not actually assigning it a value. It doesn't contain anything yet. So we actually need to assign it a value. What we're gonna do is just say new int square brackets and then semicolon. So we're assigning it a new array. This is how we initialize it. Inside of the, the square brackets, we actually have to say how big of an array we want. So for example, we can use 10. This means we have 10 spots inside of the array. We can assign values to each one of those spots by saying grades and then inside of the parentheses using an index. So the indexes align with the positions inside of the array, but it starts at zero. So the very first position in the array is index zero. And we can assign a value just like we would assign any other variable. So we can say, we'll give it the value 900. Now when we console write line, to access that value, we just say grades index zero, like so. Giving this a run, you see the value 900. You can also update values once they're assigned, so it's not a permanent thing. So we could overwrite grades of zero, give it the value 901, that's totally fine. And you can actually go and give a value to every single index, and pretty soon we'll be talking about iterating through the arrays to access all the elements. But there's actually a better way to assign values to the array when you know the values up front. So what is that gonna look like? Well, we're gonna get rid of these assignments, and we're even gonna get rid of this. And what we'll do is we will assign curly braces to this. And inside the curly braces, we can give it values. So for example, 900, 20, 12, 41, and whatever. And the actual size of the array is going to be determined by the number of elements we put inside this curly brace. So the size right now is going to be four. And that should work exactly the same way. So when we run this, we should get the value 900. And you can see we do. Awesome, now you gotta be careful you don't go outside of the bounds of the array. It's a very common mistake to say, oh, I wanna grab this element right here, so I'll use index four, forgetting that it's actually zero, one, two, three. This will give you an out of bounds exception, which is definitely not something you want to do. Running this, you can see index out of range exception, .NET quit unexpectedly, and we'll just ignore that. So when people talk about unit tests and software testing, and they say edge cases, this is kind of what they mean. Trying to access like the, the last element of an array or something similar to that, because it's so easy to go one over or one underneath and not get exactly right. So make sure you're really careful with that. We'll just stick with three here. Now we're using integers here, but you can use all different types. So don't feel like you're restricted to integers. And later on, we'll talk about how to use arrays that are dynamic in size. So if they increase in size, that's totally fine. And those are a lot better to work with, but we'll, we'll save that for another day. So thank you guys for watching and be sure to check out that next video. Don't forget to subscribe guys. Subscribe. 